I'm going to show everyone how to create an AutoCAD Civil 3D surface in under a few minutes here. Let's get right into it. Here in this drawing file, I have a pond. The green line is represented as the top of bank of the pond, while the blue dash line is the normal water level. That's where we expect the water to be. And then finally, we have this bottom. That's where we're going to dig to. Now in order to create a service, you will need to go to the tool space icon. This is located at the very top left of your screen on the home tab. Let's give it a click and open it up and see what we got. Tool space is where all of your smart objects will live, including your surfaces, your pipe networks, pressure pipes, alignments, corridors. But today we're just making a surface, so you're going to want to right click surface and then create new. We'll wait for the surface icon box to pop up. Here we go. And in this dialog box, you can change the different styles, uh, but here we're, we're not going to mess with that. We're just going to give it a name, and I'm going to give it a name called Pond Surface. Let's press OK. Now, we did the first step. We've created a surface, but now we actually have to define a surface, and a surface is composed of points, break lines, feature lines, and contours. In today's exercise, we are going to create this surface using contours, which again, a contour, think of it as like topography. We're going to assign a line and elevation. Now this isn't the most typical. A lot of people use feature lines, which I will show in a different video. In my opinion, I think using a contour, which is really just a polyline with an elevation is one of the most simple ways to create a surface. I'd like to remind everyone that this pond is created just by using simple polylines, but we're going to need to open up the properties tool in order to actually assign an elevation to the polylines. So here we have the properties toolbox and I'm going to click on the top of bank and I'm going to go down to elevation if I can find it. So we got elevation and I know the elevation, so I'm going to enter seven for the elevation of the top of bank of the pond. Now that that is inputted, I'm going to go to the normal water level of the pond and give it its elevation. So let's click the normal water level elevation, go to elevation, assign it, and then press enter. And then last but not least, we have the pond bottom, which we need to assign. So that's the very last step. So let's give this pond bottom an elevation. You can also tell by the layer of what you're clicking. I assigned a layer called PR Pond Bottom. Now that I've set elevations to all of my polylines, I can define my surface. Again, previously we only created a surface, but it has no defined input. So in order to define our input, let's go back to our tool space. I'm going to close out of this properties toolbox. I'm going to go over here to tool space and I'm going to click contours, right click, and let's add some contours. A dialog box will pop up and you can give this a name. I'm just going to call it pond contours. Now, after I press OK, it's going to ask me which polylines I want to select. And you can see that down here. Remember that a green select is anything you touch, it will highlight and select. So once you've highlighted them, press enter. And voila, we now have a surface. Now this surface already happened to be in a certain style, which it looks like we have some contours going on here, but you can actually change the style if you go up to tool space and right click your surfaces, check out your surface properties. So let's do this again. So surface properties, I'm gonna click here. I see that I have a civil surface style associated, but I'm going to go edit it really quick. So a dialog box popped up and we can go to the display tab. I actually want to show the points and triangles of this surface. An AutoCAD Civil 3D surface is made up of points and triangles that are all triangulating. And I'll show you what I mean by that when we change this style. So I'm going to press OK here, and then you'll watch the style change. Watch this. You see how all of these lines are just triangulating towards each other? Well, that is what a surface is in AutoCAD. Because each of these polylines has some sort of point or curve, and these points and curves 
all have those defined elevations. So that top of bank line is triangulating towards the normal water level line, and that normal water level line is triangulating towards the bottom. And notice how I hover over to that bottom, how it shows different elevations. So if you hover over a surface, AutoCAD will tell you at what elevation you're at. So the closer I get to that top of bank line, the more I expect to be closer to elevation 7. If I get closer to the normal water level line, I'm getting closer to elevation 4. But notice that we have this little area down here in the bottom left. We have some lines triangulating out of the range of the pond, out of the top of bank. It's because AutoCAD is having a tough time understanding where it needs to triangulate. In this case, I really want to eliminate these lines, so I'm actually going to select this surface. And keep in mind, you can only do this when you have triangles and points shown. So I got some tools here where I can add lines or add points or delete lines. I can do whatever I want to this surface. I'm going to go to delete lines because I want to delete these lines that aren't triangulating right. I want everything to be within the top of bank bounds. So here all I have to do is select them, then press enter, and now I have a clean surface. Now I really hope this has helped everyone. If you've actually watched all of this video, really appreciate it. I will be making more AutoCAD Civil 3D videos and I will also be hosting more workshops. That way people can actually ask me questions and we can walk through any sort of question that you may have. Please like and comment on this video if it helped you and if you're interested in more AutoCAD Civil 3D tips. Thank you and have a good day.